Hey beauties, it's me Allegra. Babes, I cannot believe what has been going on in my life. Um, I know so many people are going through the hardest of times and I myself have been going through some really, 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 <laughs> really horrible, horrible stuff. Um, I haven't really been wanting to speak about it yet. But one thing that had happened, uh, this is this is just another thing. There's a few things that have been going on. But for today, I just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on. One of the things that's been going on, where I've been, why I haven't been writing you guys back. Uh, some of you guys, I feel so bad and I don't want you to think that I'm ghosting anybody or things of that nature. It's just, uh, let me get into it and I'll just tell you today's, <laughs> what's been going on today. So... Guys, about a few weeks ago, uh, maybe it was two weeks ago now, um, Louis, my dog, my chihuahua Louis, he, um, he started crying, uh, and he started, you know, whimpering and kind of dragging his leg, and so me and my husband, we had, were just like, why, you know, one, thinking, what's wrong with him, and then he started, um, worse than what bring you know, he actually was screaming and he's a very sensitive dog he we we did rescue him he was abused so um he's skittish he has high anxiety as it is um so we didn't know what was going on if it was just because sometimes for his anxiety he's very he'll scream like he actually screams he sounds like a person like a, like a child um but uh we knew there was something weird going on so we took him we took him to the vet and the vet said that he thought that he slipped a disc and he gave him a shot of steroids and he gave him some medication and he said oh you know i think he'll be better so um you know the next day he did seem better actually in fact he was he was doing so much better he he actually jumped off of the bed and um landed i guess on his leg wrong and then he started screaming and he was laying on the floor screaming and we were just like oh my god so my husband said let's take him back to the vet because he was just screaming and screaming in pain so we took him back to the vet and then the vet uh said you know i'm just gonna give him some more medication and we didn't think you know you don't think i guess when you go to the vet you don't really think about you just kind of trust what they're giving you uh, he said I'm, he just needs more different medication and more powerful medication, I guess, was what he thought he was giving us. So he gave us this medicine for him called Bufederol. So he gave it to him in the office. So as soon as we got home from the vet, he I, I had him in my lap and I opened the car door and he started throwing up. He fell to the floor. He was like walking like he was like having a seizure, it looked like. And so we ran back to the vet, and the vet like, tells us, "Oh, it's, he's just having a reaction to the to the medication." Uh, and so he told them, you know, he told us, you know, just he has to wear it; just has to wear off in 24 hours, and he's gonna be fine. So we were just like, "Oh my God!" And he was up all night long, crying, screaming. We actually called the vet emergency room, and they were like. There's, you know, with COVID, I don't think they want people coming in to the emergency room and things like that. So they kind of like discard. I, I don't know. You know, they just said, you know, there's nothing. There's no neurologist here. There's nobody here right now. There was no one at that emergency vet. So they said, wait till tomorrow and then go back to to the vet. So um, the next day, we, I said, I'm not. I can't go back to that. I'm not going back to that vet because. Uh, I looked. I once I saw what was happening to him. I looked it up on the computer. It said that that medicine he gave him is 30 times more powerful than morphine. A lot of dogs have a bad reaction to it. They start just going crazy. They have a very bad reaction, hallucinating, all kinds of stuff. And that's what he was doing. He was going crazy all night long. Uh, so I took him to another. I called another vet, and then she saw him. She said, "I'll bring him in right now," and I brought him in. And then she said, you know, I'm going to do some laser therapy on him and it's maybe a slip disc. She, she still thought it was a slip disc. And she changed up the medicine. She gave him a different medicine. And so that was the end of that. She said, just, you know, take him home and let him rest. And so we brought him home and 
the first day after that he seemed okay he was still crying he was still whimpering uh he still kind of was dragging not dragging his leg but his legs were kind of like wobbly he couldn't it was like he wasn't walking right but again they put it down to the slip disc so then the next day we wake up and i took i went to take him outside and he's screaming and screaming and screaming and i put him down on the i carried him i put him down on the grass and he's just sitting there and he wouldn't move and this was this is so strange because he's never not moved before and um i was calling him his tail wasn't wagging he was just sitting there crying crying and I was like, oh my God, I've never seen anything like this. So we called again. We started calling. We called the, again the emergency room. They told us, oh, there's no one here that could help him right now because it was now it was Sunday. And they said there's no, and then we called another emergency vet. And they said, oh, well, he needs a, neuro a neurologist. There's no neurologist here right now for two weeks. There won't be a neurologist here. So I was just like, oh my God, I was just started praying and praying and praying, please God help us, please God help us, because he wouldn't move for, now it's going on an hour, I'm calling the vets, I'm calling, trying to get help, and he's just, he he could see, he was, could he would not, he wasn't moving. So his legs were just like, twisted underneath of him, and they were just, it was just so so horrible look it looked so horrible and it was so strange and it was so definitely i said oh my god please god i started praying please god please god help us there's got to be somebody that will help us i called all the hospitals that i could find emergency vets finally we got to we found this place in brewster new york it was it's a little bit farther upstate um but i called them they said bring him here right away there is a neurologist here so we brought him there and right away we got there they took him and with the covid they you have to wait in the car and they take the pet your pet from you inside so you're not allowed to go inside so they took him inside and so we're waiting in the car for like a half hour and all of a sudden you know the the vet the technician comes back out and he says I'm really sorry to tell you this, but Louis is paralyzed. He, Louis is paralyzed. I can't even say it, guys. It's so horrible. He said he. I'm, I can't say it yet. It's so horrible. It was just like what? He said he's paralyzed. He's never gonna walk. He can't not walk again. He's not gonna. Walk. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? What is going on here? Um. So uh, they, they. He said I'm gonna. You know go get the doctor and he's gonna come out and he's gonna t tell you more about it and um so the doctor came out and he told us yeah he has this, maybe it's a common thing with some dogs they're just their discs just to give out and they become power they can become they become paralyzed and um he said you know i don't i don't know i don't he didn't think that for some reason he he said i don't think that he thought it was that he could help him and my husband was like we were we were just cry i was just crying crying my husband said please um isn't there anything you can do for him and they said they, you know they said we can try to do surgery he said but i don't he didn't think he said i, don't, I can't tell you it's gonna work he said i don't think that it's gonna work um because he didn't have any they had like been doing little tests on him and the nerves were the nerves were gone they you know so um he didn't feel anything of the test that they were doing to him so um if they don't have any feeling then you know they're they're powerless so uh he said i don't think that it's gonna i don't think he didn't think that the surgery was gonna help my husband said please we'll try we'll just try um and the you know the doctor he said you know he he said we'll try but he's like i don't it's, he might not come out right just so you know he might still be just have so many problems so many things that he described that could be wrong with him and my and my husband said no we'll just try we'll try whatever we can do to try to save him and so the doctor said okay and um 
the doc I never forget though the doctor my husband was like here he was saying please like he was saying please take our money and help him somehow and the doctor said does it money can't buy you health I'll never forget when he said that and it's so true guys even you know for everybody your health is number one don't be fooled thinking what the whole world tells you that um you know money is the most important or having this or that it's not you if you have your health and you have and your family's healthy you have it you are the richest person in the world believe me don't be fooled by what the world has been telling us all so anyway uh they went the doctor said okay well we'll try but like again he didn't have a good he, he said i'm not gonna lie to you i don't think that it's gonna work he didn't think it was gonna work and um so they did the surgery though on him and i guys i went straight to the church i was praying and praying and you know i'm telling you guys how i was praying because i i really really had to go uh, I, I prayed so hard and I had to believe because um, you know in the Bible it says if you pray to God he keeps his promises so um, you have to stay calm and pray when the, if something ever happens and um, so that's what I did I was trying to stay calm and pray trust God because God said in the Bible he will keep his promises if you ask him he'll, he'll give it to you so I prayed and prayed God guys and uh, so after a few hours the the surgeon called us and he told us Louis was out of surgery so that was number one he survived the surgery and I couldn't believe it I was so happy because I was very worried he wouldn't my friends has a little dog that a few of her little dogs had passed from just anesthesia so I've always been terrified of anesthesia putting my dogs under but um so he said he's out of surgery and they have to keep him at the hospital so they kept him there like four days and they had to put a catheter in him and it was just so I know how he is he's very sensitive he's very emotional so I was so but thank god they did you know give him medication to calm him because even they said he is very high anxiety he's very nervous and it just broke my heart thinking about him being scared but anyway guys i have to tell you and this is what i reason i had to come and tell you today what has happened guys louis has been home two days now and the doctor said they did not believe he would walk again they said that if he did even walk a little bit it's gonna happen in like two months three months it could take months of therapy of rehab guys today and i'm telling you guys because i know god made a miracle for, he is walking now he's walking he is not paralyzed anymore so i cannot help but but know that this is a miracle from god that even the doctors my husband called the doctors they cannot believe it they're totally in shock um it's unbelievable he still has the stitches in him they're going to take his stitches out next week but guys he is walking again i cannot believe it i'm just i i just i'm so grateful to god and that's why i had to come and tell you guys first of all right now um where i've been and how grateful i am to god for answering my prayers i know that i know I know that God made a miracle. There's no other word. The doctors can't believe it. It's only been two days and he's, guys, I'm, he's walking. Um, nobody can believe it. It's nothing short of a miracle. So I just wanted to come and share that with you guys. If you're, so many people are going through hard times. Don't be afraid to go and pray to God about anything. And I believe that, and I, it says right in the Bible, God keeps his promises. And I cannot, I have had so many miracles happen to me lately, guys, in in these past few months that I will be sharing with you uh, another time. But I, right now it's too much. To, I, I'll just have to talk about it another time. But I just want to tell you about Louie today, guys. Actually, right now I'm in this little pen. That's why I'm sitting in here. 
because he cries if you weep. He doesn't want me to leave him. So here he is. Let me try to show you guys. He's just sleeping. Say hi. There he is. But but he was playing before. He he's there's his guys can you see his tail? Because when his his tail stopped wagging, they said that's why they knew he was paralyzed too. But show him how you do your tail, Daddy. Show him how you wag your tail. Oh, there's his little mark from his scar, his from his surgery, guys. But look, he wanted to say hi. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Guys, keep him in your prayers, please. And he'll keep improving, and he won't get hurt again. And he'll be able to keep walking. You see? Is that your toy? Love you. Papa? This big boy. Oh, there he goes. See, look at his tail wagging, guys. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I can't believe it because that was... See how he kind of drags his legs a little? But when he stopped wagging his tail, that's when the doctor was like... Knew, really convinced that he was never going to be able to walk again. Because they said, you know, if their tail stops working, that's not a good sign. Oh, of course, his legs stop working too, but... Anyway, thank you God so much for saving Louis and bringing him back to us. Now he's not, see, I can pet him now. He's just, he was screaming so much before. He was in so much pain before. But now he's doing much better. Hey, puppy. He was just playing a little while ago. He was playing with his little toy here and he was digging. He was trying to dig and hide his toy in his little bed here. So we just have to keep him kind of fenced in so he doesn't overexert himself, so he doesn't get hurt, so he doesn't, God knows, like, but he is walking, guys. He is no, he is not paralyzed. He is walking. He's just, they said he's just going to get better and better uh, because that's the thing. They don't know if the nerves will connect again to the spinal cord. Nobody knows, but they are connected. So he's walking. He's able to use his he's able to use his bowels because they said he wasn't going to be able to use his bowels again um, w without assistance oh my god it was just so many horrible things that they that they had told that could have happened to him and God I'm just so grateful God saved him and I, I, I just I just um, I just had to tell you guys because God really made a miracle for me and for Louis and my and I'm so grateful. I'm never I never um can say how grateful I am. And and wait till I tell you more. There's more things that have happened going on and just so unbelievable, so miraculous. So um I just wanted to share that with you guys and I just wanted to let you know too that I would never be like ghosting you guys or sometimes I I know I had a giveaway and I can't get the package out. It took me so long to mail it out to the doll. So, you know, because it's been so much. It's been going on for like two weeks now. But there's way more stuff, more stuff going on. But thankfully, it'll be, oh, I've been getting so much good news, guys, about my other situation. So I'll tell you more about that another day, though, guys. But I just wanted to share today with you about Louie. And let you know he's doing good now, guys. I just can't believe it. I'm so grateful. <laughs> he's my whole, he's like, you know, he's my son. I don't have, you know, he's my whole world. He's so attached. We're so attached to, to each other, you know. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. And so I'll be back. I hope you guys are doing good. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Love you. Perfect. Perfect. Should we keep letting him walk? Marcus.